All right, before I go on my run today, I wanted to tell you I will be doing a live stream during the Western States 100 lottery on Saturday morning. Um, that'd be, boy, uh, let's get the times right. Uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. Central. Right, so heading out for a lunch run trying to figure out a good way to get my workout in during these shorter days all right let's do it <laughs> Take three. All right, I gotta be honest, guys. Um, <laughs> I have recorded this now three times. It's one of those videos where everything seems to go wrong. It's just been a whole mess, man. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, let's get into the video. All right, welcome back again to my channel. Uh, I am Dan, the Ultra Dad, and I appreciate you coming back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, definitely hit that subscribe button if you like my content. Hit the like thumbs up if you like this video in particular, and if you want to be following along, hit the bell notification as well. So anyway, thanks again for coming in, coming back for this video. Uh, we are talking about zero drop versus high drop, and that's the topic today. The reason this topic comes up is I've had a few comments on videos um, when I've reviewed shoes because I do like the Ultra Olympus a lot. I like Ultra in general. And this company, I think they make nothing but uh, zero drop shoes. That's the only kind of shoe that they make. And before I get into comparing this to the Pegasus, Pegasus Trail 3, which is the shoe I've been running in the most, most recently, let's talk about what zero drop is. So you may be familiar with that. If so, fast forward. If you're not familiar with that, just quickly, uh, let's review that. So when I talk about zero drop, what I'm talking about is the amount of midsole in the heel as compared to the amount of midsole in the toe um, and whether the, that amount changes. So uh, whether there's more in the heel uh, or less in the toe or if it's the same across the board. So I don't mean that when I talk about it being flat or I talk about zero drop, I don't mean that there is no cushion in the shoe um, because they actually they used to make shoes like that and I think they still do. Um, and I tried them out, but that's just uh, doesn't work for me. Uh, I need I need some midsole cushion But what I'm talking about is the amount of change between the heel to the toe and Whether it is at an angle because there's more stack height more midsole more cushion uh, In the heel than in the toe or if it's flatter because there's the same in the heel and the toe so that's what the the amount of drop means uh, at least to me and so what I want to talk about tonight is comparing the zero drop shoe, which this is an example of that, the Ultra Olympus 4, and the Nike Pegasus Trail 3, which has, I think it's about a nine and a half millimeter drop. So it's a high drop. 
Um, and I've had people ask me, you know, do you, what is that like going from zero drop to, uh, to a higher drop? Or what's it like going from a higher drop to a zero drop? I think most of my discussion tonight is going to be surrounding going from a zero drop to a higher drop. And the reason is, I don't know if I really remember what it was like uh, before Ultra. I've spent several years running in the Olympus now, almost probably two and a half years, three years. So I don't remember what it was like when I went from something, I don't even remember what shoe I wore before the Ultra Olympus. So uh, I've been a pretty loyal Ultra guy. Obviously I've been um, testing out other shoes. And most recently, I've really enjoyed the Pegasus, the Nike Pegasus Trail 3, which has that higher drop. So let's talk about that. Um, you know, I mean, I'll briefly mention, comment on each shoe. I mean, the Ultra Olympus 4, I really like, has a lot of good cushion in it. Um, so even though it is a zero drop, it has a lot of midsole cushion, very comfortable for long distances, um, and it's a very durable shoe. It's really lasted well. I think I see, a, well, no, I don't see any tearing, and I think I put almost 400 miles in the shoe. So really high quality shoe, and I really like it. The Nike Pegasus Trail 3 is my more recent shoe, and it also has served me quite well. Um, it took a while to get comfortable, I'll explain that in a minute, but you know, once, I, once they broke in, um, they are very, very comfortable, and I really like them. Uh, the highlights for this shoe are the tongue. It's a very nice, thick tongue. Uh, that just feels very comfortable across the top of your foot. Uh, I like this pull tab in the back. And also, again, the midsole is very comfortable. There is this toe bumper on the front that also helps uh, with rocks and things like that. So let's talk about the difference in the drop. So let's talk about the things I noticed when I went from the, uh, from the low drop or the zero drop, the Ultra Olympus 4 to the high drop in the Nike Pegasus Trail 3. Uh, so two main things. Um, number one, gait efficiency, um, I think increased quite a bit because with the Ultra Olympus 4, I had to work harder every step um, because I was on that flatter, I was on the zero drop. Um, there was no angle helping me, uh, which I'll, I'll show you in a minute with the Nike Pegasus, Pegasus Trail 3. With the Trail 3, you're already on a slope. So it's almost like, uh, you know, if you want to run fast, uh, for me at least, running downhill is a little bit easier than running across a flat surface. So I did notice uh, the efficiency of my gait, efficiency of my steps increased significantly because I was already on that slope and every step was easier. So that's the first thing I noticed. The second thing I noticed is the perception was I was moving faster as well. So not only was the efficiency truly, I believe, truly uh, increased, but the sensation was I, because I was on that downward slope, I was moving faster. So that was also really nice um, and I really liked it. The big disadvantage to going from a zero drop to a higher drop for me was the fact that the pressure on my toes and on the balls of my foot increased quite a bit. Um, and that's pretty obvious if you think about it because um, most of your weight is kind of shifting down towards your toes. Um, and so my toe, you know, the balls of my feet, the metatarsals were not really used to that. And so I actually had quite a bit of pain there. And if you've been watching my channel, I've been kind of complaining about that pain um, and not just with the Nike Pegasus Trail 3, but with the Hoka Speed Goats as well, which also have some drop. Um, but I've been noticing a pretty significant pain in my in my feet there, in the front of my feet. And I think it actually is because of the fact that I was so used to running in the zero drop ultras um, that I wasn't used to that pressure on the front of my foot. So that actually has gone away for the most part. Uh, now that I've run in these shoes in the Nike Pegasus Trail 3s for I think uh, about 60, 70 miles, um, definitely has gone away. And so the midsole is really comfortable and I like it, but it took a while. And uh, it wasn't that I couldn't run it at all, but I had to really kind of break it in. Um, it took a while to uh, get used to it and develop a comfort for them. So, and I think it was because of the pressure on the front of my foot. So that was the drawback. Um, and I think I'm gonna see that with any shoe that I do when I'm going from a zero drop to a higher drop. So anyway, so those are my thoughts on going from a high drop to a low drop. I really like both of these shoes um, and I plan to run in both of them in the future. Thanks again for joining me for this video about high drop versus low drop. I hope that you found something useful in it and I uh, hope your training is going well out there. And don't forget, we have the live stream coming on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. 
during the Western States 100 lottery. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna have a couple of people joining me, so that'll be a good time as well. And uh, it's gonna be a good weekend. So anyway, stay strong out there and we will catch you in the next one. Wow, this weather is amazing. I don't even know why I'm wearing these gloves. I feel so stupid. <laughs> They'll be coming off soon. This is uh, just awesome weather for December. Yeah.